Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today I've got a interesting mini projector right over here. The name of the brand is X-Mink, if I'm not mistaken. Model Key One SE. And in terms of design, we have seen similar, but this one is the smallest one that we have seen. We will find on the top the focus ring right over here. At the back, power button, infrared receiver, a audio output, USB, HDMI and a power input jack. And then at the bottom we'll find a quarter inch screw that we can put in any tripod or even if we want to mount it on the ceiling we can do so. Now in my opinion and I do use uh, projectors on the ceiling as you guys know on my cinema room uh, I would not suggest this for a ceiling mount although it's possible it is small but it will be larger than the classical projector so I do believe that this kind of projector which looks like the R2-D2 in my opinion a cute R2-D2 it's meant to be along with our furniture on a top of a table and if it's well uh, implemented I believe that we can put it somewhere that it will be integrated with the decoration and no one will notice that it's there until we press the on button on the remote control to turn it on and give us a image. Now talking about image which is one of the most important factors on any projector it goes from 40 inches to 120 inches full HD resolution image quality in my opinion it's great but have in mind that on the 40 inches side up to the 100 inches the image quality it's vivid it's bright it's really nice really enjoyable but when we go above the 100 inches and I did test it out on one of my setups on a screen that I've got 120 inches I do notice that we start to lose from the 100 above inches the brightness and the vividness so although we can go 120 and even above I would not suggest to go above 100 with this projector right over here especially to keep the really nice colors and vibration that which we start to lose with any projector not only this one when we put it further away from the screen so if you're looking for something up to 100 inches great in terms of image quality and the brightness in terms of the vividness and brightness I always test it out as you guys know with three different levels of lightning conditions and although we know that this kind of projector will give us the best results when we have a dark environment but it did behave really really well so I'm really satisfied and although we know and I did already share this in the past with you guys which is it's really unfair to any projector that we test out what we see with our eyes it's different from what we see with the camera so even when it's really bright and we on the camera almost don't see the image with my eyes I'm seeing the image without any issues but having in mind that if it's on a darker environment we will have the best results possible but it did pass on all the tests now one test that it did not pass in my opinion is the sound It's great to have built-in sound and probably useful if we are doing a presentation or something like that when we don't need to uh, enjoy the audio but if you are targeting this for movies series and you want some audio fidelity in my opinion it's just not there so I would strongly suggest as I do with any projector a external sound bar or any other kind of speaker that will enrich a great image that we have right over here with a great sound which will not come from the built-in speakers the thing that we need to have in mind with this projector right over here on my test I was not able to find on the software that it has a way to reduce or to zoom out the image which means that we can go from 40 inches to 120 as we said but uh, we will not have a way of reducing the size of the image it's normal that we don't have a zoom in because it would degradate the image but the zoom out usually is present 
that's on most of the projectors that we see and on the software I did not find that that would be very useful because if I need to place it a little bit further and if I want the image to be smaller that zoom function usually works out and it's really really nice to be present in this particular case at this moment and I'm not really sure if that can be a firmware upgrade but at this moment it's not present right over here so just have that in mind in my opinion I do believe that this kind of projector it is to be used on top of furniture and if that's the case then it's really easy to adjust the size of the image just by putting more to the front or more to the back and that's an issue that it's solved but for those that will want to use on a ceiling where you have a fixed position then have that in mind because we will not have the option to zoom out in conclusion in terms of design i really enjoy this kind of design once again it's not meant to be on a fixed position on a ceiling or stuff like that it's meant to be on part of the furniture it looks really nice and disguised it doesn't look like a projector so this is in my opinion image quality i really enjoyed from 40 to 100 inches sound quality as i mentioned i uh, would use a external sound to watch movies and so on so forth that being said hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one